This is the Altkins 4 photograph of uh, the presidential limo as it's turning the corner from Main Street to Houston Street. Uh, this is the way you usually see it. This is the way it seems to have appeared in newspapers back in the day. I've looked at scans of newspapers and I always see it like this. But it's actually a crop of this picture. And uh, you, you never see the whole picture together. I've only seen it one time together anywhere, and that's in, an, uh, in what they call a contact sheet. Though I wouldn't call this a contact sheet. But anyway, the picture in question is one of those little ones up at the top. And this is the full frame of that picture that the first picture I showed you came from. This is the only place I have ever seen this picture in full frame. And of course it's this tiny thing and the detail is awful. But it's very strange. You've got all these sites dedicated to every trivial little thing. They even colorize all these old pictures. But when you got this one here, they don't use the full frame anywhere. I've never seen it anywhere. I don't see why JFK worship sites don't want the full frame version available. I think that's interesting. I want to see the full frame version. And this is the part that was cropped out. I have found this individually. It's very rare. In fact, I believe this is the only one I've ever found anywhere. Wherever I got this, I don't remember where I got it. But this is part of the same picture, but it never appears with the rest of it, which I think is kind of strange. And here they are side by side. You might even think they're not part of the same picture, even if you see them side by side. You can see they're obviously uh, close to the same spot, but one's tilted a little bit, giving the impression that maybe it's not from the same photograph but it is you can tell it is from the contact sheet and here I've put it together with the pieces of it I had and obviously it all fits together it's a very nice picture as it is here I mean I can understand you like the crop because it focuses thing on the president there but this is a perfectly nice picture this way. I don't see why it is completely ignored by the JFK worship and JFK research communities. Nobody puts this picture together. I'm sure there's people out there who could do a far better job than I did or maybe even get access to a, a print of the original negative. But nobody, nobody does that. Why is that? What's wrong with this picture? Well, my theory is that when you put the pieces of the picture together, eventually you notice that there's two people who've got their hands on their hats. One of them is the First Lady Jackie, and the other is a shady-looking character standing on the sidewalk there who looks exactly like Rip Robertson of the CIA. And the insert here is a picture of dear old Rip. And I put it next to the guy who's holding his hand on his hat. And no doubt in my mind is the same guy. Uh, that nose is unmistakable. And they're both wearing glasses and the mouth and the chin look the same. You even got that same kind of weird, it looks lower on his right side, the chin. And it's the same in both pictures. I think it's the same guy. He might even be wearing the same tie. Uh, so you've got Rip Robertson, a CIA guy, standing by the side of the street, apparently exchanging signals with Jackie Kennedy. That might be why nobody ever puts this picture together. Now, I labeled these people a few years ago. Got Rip Robertson there. I thought this other guy standing next to Rip looked like Ted Shackley of the CIA. There's another guy there behind uh, the guy who's giving the Nazi salute who looks very CIA-ish, but I don't know who he is. The guy giving the Nazi salute, I don't know. Maybe that's Johnny Roselli. <laughs> but I wasn't sure. Jim Featherston is identified in many sources as being that person. He's a, 
He's the uh, newspaper guy who uh, appropriated Mary Ann Mormon's photo. And Mary Pinchot Meyer, uh, that is my identification, and I still think it's correct. And she would be uh, uh, one of the president's girlfriends and former wife of uh, Cord Meyer, CIA guy. And there's someone to the right of her, to our right, who also looks very CIA, but I don't know who he is either. But anyway, I think uh, that's the reason the picture does not appear together. It's because you've, it's mostly, I think, Rip Robertson there and Jackie exchanging signals, and that draws your attention to this picture, and you begin to wonder who all these other people are. So I think that's why this picture never appears together. You've got Rip Robertson signaling Jackie Kennedy, and this is about 30 seconds maybe before he's shot. So it's, uh, it's an important moment for somebody to be exchanging signals. And I think it's interesting that the JFK sites don't put this together either. You have a lot of enterprising folks out there, like I said, who colorize images and try to get the best images they can and every version they can, but nobody ever puts this together, and it makes me wonder what they're up to. You know, I mean, why don't they put this together? It's interesting. It's a nice piece of trivia, at least, to have the picture all together, but they don't do it. They don't do it. All right, well, I did it. Someone has to do it.